So much of this is built on the fact that I think the BDSM and kink is the is the next big research area. This is a, a field of knowledge now. Um, there's lots of argument that this is a field of study. This is no longer just a little niche interest. These, this is this is a, a really legitimate field of study. You know, what and kind of training have you had around this? It's perfectly fine uh, to ask that. Um, some people get a little nervous about doing that because it sounds like, am I challenging them or questioning them? You know, right from the very start, is that, you know, um, an appropriate thing to do? And both Anna and I would say it is very appropriate. <laughs> you need to get the quality care that you deserve. Which is that people go to somebody for help and are actually harmed by the help itself. So um, what happens is that somebody goes and they meet somebody who's pretty uptight or thinks that what they're doing is wrong personally, but is not very informed by the research or, or science and says, oh, my God, how could you do that? That's just abuse or that's mm. just self-harm. And then the next thing we know, somebody has been branded as, you know, some sort of, um, you know, this is self-harming behavior or they have some sort of other mental illness. And it happens, unfortunately, and that's part of why we do what we do at Tashra and other people are doing it too, which is to try and train professionals to understand better what it is that people are doing and to understand the, the fundamentals of consent. The second piece is personal, which is um, I didn't want anybody to go through what I went through in my own personal life, which was to think for some 30 years that I was real, there was something really wrong with me and that I was really like, I really thought I was like possessed by the devil because I, I was a good Catholic girl who had kinky thoughts and kinky urges and desires. And I went to therapists who told me there was something really seriously wrong with me. 